Hey guys, I've been wanting to do this for many, many years. I actually have a brand new truck with a manual transmission and do a towing review with it. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. This right here is a 2021 Toyota Tacoma TRT Pro, the most off-road worthy one, but it has a six-speed manual transmission and I have a trailer that weighs about 5,000 pounds. And I'm gonna do a bit of a towing loop, uh, show you the fuel economy I'm getting and actually talk about the whole experience towing with a manual. So let's go and do it. For this review, I'm using our Iron Bull flat deck trailer and this brand new Can-Am Defender 6x6, a pretty awesome machine. I'm taking it to David's ranch up north. We're doing another video with the 6x6 and the Tacoma coming up soon on TFL truck. Uh, but the 6x6 weighs about 2,000 pounds. The trailer weighs about 3,000. So it's total weight of 5,000. All right, let's do this. Okay, where is my key? So this brand new truck, 2021, um, it's kind of more simple, right? And this is what I love. Actually, regular key, of course, a clutch pedal. And actually, I don't have to use a clutch. It has a clutch cancel uh, start button. But in this case, of course, just in regular way, I can fire it up and I can put it in first. And this truck is geared differently than an automatic transmission Tacoma. It has a 430 to 1 rear differential and a lower first gear for a total crawl ratio if you're in 4 low of about 44 to 1 versus 36 to 1 with an automatic. So this should give me more oomph off the line when towing. So let's go. All right, guys, I got on the road and I'm gonna go about 50 miles on the way to David's and I'm gonna tell you the fuel efficiency that the truck is reporting. We've had this truck for a few days in the office and Zach, our office manager and TFL car managing editor, actually drove it around town and on the highway and got about 17 MPG according to the trip meter. So I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is uh, with 5,000 pounds. All right, getting on the highway right here. I'm just putting it in second and accelerating this up this hill. Oh yeah, well, it's not the fastest truck. Of course, I'm in Colorado, a mile above sea level. And this V6, it's a 3.5 liter. Can you hear it? <laughs> yes. It produces about uh, 276 horsepower. So yes, it's losing some power up here at a mile above sea level, but I love this manual. First of all, the engagements are very nice and easy. It's easy to find the gear. The clutch feels very easy, low effort, good engagement on the clutch. And I feel in total control. I know what gear I'm in because I can see my pattern. I'm in third right now. I can go to four if I can see the RPM drop exactly when I want. So there is some positives to actually towing with a manual transmission truck. As always with a towing review, I'm using our Gen Y hitch. In this case, it's a glider. For lighter trailers, this is perfect. It's rated for about 7,000 pounds total. Um, and it has its own torsion axle. So it, it's a cushion hitch, which I love the way this handles. Um, so uh, yeah, it's properly hooked up. We got our chains. Uh, the truck can tow up to 6,400 pounds, this Tacoma. Um, so 5,000 pounds should be no issue. And the manual transmission actually gives me better gearing for towing. So I'll tell you about that in a second. All right, guys, I'm here at the red light and I'm gonna do a bit of an acceleration test, impromptu, um, no solid DL. There it goes. Okay, that's about red line. I wanna see how it accelerates. That's about 45. Fifty-five and sixty. Yeah, it's not the quickest truck in the world with this trailer. I think it needs more torque, this engine. Still, even with the gearing that it has, with this manual transmission, uh, you're not gonna win many uh, stoplight drag races with a trailer in this Tacoma. 
having a truck like this is actually very unique uh, because uh, manuals are going away. If you think about the manufacturers that are currently selling trucks in 2021, there's just two in the United States that offer manual transmissions. Uh, there's Toyota, the Jeep Gladiator has a manual transmission option as well. And Toyota is offering the manual across the board on their Tacomas. So you can even get this top of the line Tacoma TRD Pro with a six speed manual. And right now I'm rolling in sixth gear, about 65 miles an hour speed limit, just over 2000 RPM. It feels really good. The hitch is working well. I think the load is balanced and I'm on my way. Of course, Toyota sells vastly more automatic transmission Tacomas than manual. Well, that's why <laughs> manuals are going away. And uh, here's where the decision comes in, automatic or manual. So when you're buying an automatic, it costs more to begin with. But the automatic is also rated higher for fuel efficiency. If you look at EPA ratings, combined rating on a six-speed auto Tacoma is 20 mpg and a combined rating on a manual transmission Tacoma is 18. But if you want control, if you're a little bit more old school, if you love rock crawling, um, this lower gearing and this manual transmission actually does really well off-road because the low gearing allows you to move slower up big mountains and obstacles. So yes, manuals can be tricky off-road, but this truck does well at, at that task. All right, guys, it's been about 50 miles. I made it. No big uh, problems, of course. So let me actually give you my verdict on this whole towing trip and actually show you exactly what the fuel efficiency is right now. In general, the Tacoma is not a truck built for towing. Of course it can tow, like I'm showing you today, but it doesn't have a built-in brake controller from the factory here. So I'm using this Prodigy um, RF system, and we've used this many times before. There's basically a module on a trailer, and I, um, I have a module that I can control manually right here inside the cab as well. So it works pretty well, and my gain is right here. Also, the mirrors on this truck are okay, not obviously towing mirrors, but because this trailer is very low, I was able to see all the way around it, um, so the mirror is actually not too bad. So I went about 49 miles from our office right here to David's ranch. I love being here. The truck showed 11.8 mpg, and in the city, like I told you, it got about 17. So yes, of course you're seeing a decrease in fuel efficiency with the trailer, but 11.8 is not too bad pulling 5,000 pounds. I really enjoyed rowing my own gears and towing. I felt like a big trucker, but I would not buy this truck for towing. If you want to tow, maybe get a diesel-powered mid-size truck like a Gladiator or a Chevy Colorado. There is not quite enough torque, especially here in the mountains, to tow a trailer, but no other issues. Uh, it was a really nice, enjoyable trip. This truck is more meant for off-roading, though, not really for towing. As always, go back to tfloffroad.com and tfltruck.com for all the latest news, views, and independent and honest reviews.